two three to a two eight is not what I'd call a small difference, but two threes to two fives, you know, one to two to two three, couple wraps of lead, blah 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 blah. Sometimes that makes a big old difference. So I'm Pat Weiss, uh, live in Port Matilda, outside State College. Been designing flies for Fooling Mill for, I guess it's three seasons now. Been fishing competitively since 2010. Prior to that, didn't even know such a thing existed. So that was, I had more time back then. Now, <laughs> it's... It uh, was all, en all encompassing for a while, but uh, let's see, I guess I fished for the USA in six or seven world championships. Always learned something at those different types of fish, different places, di you know, and I would generally learn something there, bring it back here, and then try to prove it out. Some of my more flashy patterns have been that sort of thing. That's just what it requires some places. I brought them back here and certain times of the year in certain places it worked just as good here as it did for you know European grayling. So it's good to do those things. I come back with a little bit different perspective. Try things that I never would have tried in a million years that I would have said like everybody else, oh, that won't work here, that won't work here. Try it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You know, all you can do is Give it a try and you just put it on different waters, big water, little water. And sometimes you just come up with something that that just works, it just hits, and then it sends you down another road and you start looking that way and the next thing you know you're losing twenty flies a day in the trees and spending half your time tying when you should be fishing. All right. So we're gonna fish something that I never fished very much at all, uh, off and on, but recently I've done more and more after coming back from Spain is the, the micro leader. Love it, hate it, love to hate it, whatever. To me, it's got its place. If I've got, if I've got broken water, it works pretty good there. Flat water, it, it may work there. I haven't figured out how to make it work there. But it's good for getting flies down and getting them slow. You can, if you're here, we got bigger water, so I've got heavier flies on. I got a, a couple of two threes, a skunk, and a, what do I got on there? A BP. And uh, I can kind of blast them through the wind, and if I don't have to try to stay off or try to stay at the right exact angle, you can get these things to get down in there fairly deep and track them. Sometimes it's hard to hold things up with it, in my opinion anyway. I don't have the years on it that other people do. Um, I can hold it up. It just doesn't seem to work as well. I'm still trying to figure that part of it out. But if you've got any kind of broken water, anytime fish want to fly slow, it's definitely worth trying because you can, you can almost hold them steady in there if, if the cast is right. I try to avoid really pulling them back, dragging them back. There's a fine balance between holding them up and pulling them. You try both. Sometimes the fish want it pulled around here. More often than not, they don't. You want to try to get that just kind of hovering. Not, you, you're not going to really get it fully dead drifted with this method. At least I don't feel so. But if you can get it where it just kind of hovers there and maybe it falls and maybe it rides up a little bit, going slower than everything else around it, sometimes it's just, that's enough for them to make them eat it. And if you get a little bit heavier, you get into that 2.8, 3.2 range, you can launch them across the creek there pretty good. You have a weird angle, but it's, uh, it's 
sometimes it's your only option to really get it in there. So we'll try. It's hard to cast. Everybody says, oh, you don't cast it, you don't cast it, you lob it. Well, I don't, I don't believe that. There's still a cast to it, but you have to, you have to match the diameter of your leader with the action of your rod. Some rods, an 020 liter will work great. Other rods, you gotta go smaller. Other rods, you gotta go bigger. Some rods just won't do things that other rods will. So try to match it. And the only thing you can do is just try it, try it, try it, try it. I'm gonna fire it up there, let them drop in. I don't like to have them really fall in with force if I can. If I can have them just fall, that's what I'll try to do. And then just keep enough tension on it to know if one bites it. I don't want to pull it. I don't want to drag it across. I want to just kind of hold it there and hopefully see a reaction if one grabs it. And just like we did before, I'll paint my way out. I'm not going to walk right out there. I mean, they could be anywhere in here. They're probably out there, but I'm going to make a few cursory casts in this open stuff just to make sure. Yeah, so as far as I'm aware, there's nothing that makes a leader micro versus not micro other than the fact that it's really thin. I mean, <laughs> some of these things are diameter 6x tippet for the leader. To me, that's, you know, that's micro. But you can run anything to, you know, 8 pound, 10 pound. It doesn't have any sections in it. There's no taper in it. So that's, that's still, I would call it a micro leader. I don't know. Somebody will probably want to argue about it. They know it's got to be this, it's got to be that. I really don't care. It's a really thin leader and it's straight. It's not even a leader. It's just line attached to the, attached to the, what, what passes this fly line these days. So people like to play semantics about that kind of stuff, but that's stupid. You can do all sorts of things with it. I mean, people want to complain, oh, it's like bait fishing and you can fish it like bait. You certainly can, but you can also do other things with it. You can float it, you can tuck it, you can jig things with it, you can get snagged with it. I'm good at that. But if all you do is flop it out there, then yeah, maybe it's like bait fishing, but it's, uh, it's really not much of a leader, but it can really, it can be effective. Now we should start to get something out here. I can see a depression out there. Should have something going on here pretty soon. I might need to go heavier. It's trucking down there pretty good. I'm gonna go heavier. We'll put a big, big fat 2.8 skunk on there. Weight with this leader is really important. I think it's important with everything, but with this leader, the smallest little thing seems to really make a difference, at least for me. Now, 2.3 to a 2.8 is not what I'd call a small difference, but 2.3s to 2.5s, two you know, 1 to 2 to 2.3, two a couple wraps of lead, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes that makes a big old difference. <laughs> 